for governor and lieutenant governor. Our next award recipient has such a long resume that I can only mention a little bit of it. He has served as South Carolina's U.S. Attorney, appointed by Ronald Reagan. He served as State Chairman of the Republican Party for almost a decade, and currently serves as South Carolina's Attorney General, having been elected to that office in November 2002. It's for that role that SCAP honors him today, for saving taxpayers millions of dollars by helping to stop the practice known as bobtailing legislation, which you're not, if you're not aware of, in the past has allowed the General, General Assembly to spend money by passing bills totally unrelated to each other. Under his watch, the Attorney General's office sued the General Assembly to stop this practice and was already taken to the South Carolina Supreme Court, and he was successful in that. Henry has also collected millions of dollars for South Carolina through various industry settlements where companies have been accused of illegal conduct. Most recently, Henry helped lead the charge along with several other Attorney Generals from around the nation in challenging the so-called corn husker kickback by U.S. Senator Ben Nelson in the recent health care attempted takeover by the administration. For that and his long service to the state, we honor today Attorney General Henry McMaster.
have. So when we saw the corn husker kickback, when we saw what was going on in the Senate with Harry Reid and the others, when we saw they had 59 votes and they needed just one more in order to cut off the Republican filibuster against Obamacare, and then we saw Harry Reid take the bribe that was offered to him, and it was a monetary bribe, not for him personally, but it's just the same thing. That is, Medicare was going to be extended all over the country at enormous expense. But the worst part is it would be extended in, the, in the, uh, Nebraska as well, but they wouldn't pay for any of it ever. All the other states would be paying for our state portion as well as their state portion. We went to the Constitution. When in doubt, go to the Constitution. The Constitution makes good sense. All public officials take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of this state, if you're a South Carolina official, and the United States Constitution. But unfortunately, those people and many of them here are forgetting about that. Well, Harry Reid certainly did. And he took the bait. He took the bribe. And it became public. And if you notice, he never did deny it. So I called two of my Attorney General friends, one in Washington State and one in Texas, Greg Abbott and Rob McKellar, said, would you help me if we threaten a lawsuit and bring it if they don't turn it around? They said, we will. We called other attorneys general. We ended up with 15. We wrote a letter to Harry, and Democrats as well. We wrote a letter to Harry Poli Pelosi, excuse me, Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid and said, if you don't take that unconstitutional thing out of there, we are going to sue. And because we raised our voices, because you raised your voices, because other people in the, in the country raised their voices, it had the desired impact. And because part of that desired impact was Scott Brown getting, getting elected in Massachusetts, which took that critical vote back from him. And I hope I can say that Obamacare is dead. But it's not all of it. because of one thing. It's because you are willing to stand up. And that's the point I want to make to you, and I want to urge you to keep doing it. It's important. We've got the greatest state in the country. We have all the assets that we need for great prosperity, but we've got to get this tax burden off of business, industries, and families. And when we do that, this will truly be, for generations, the best place in the country to live, work, learn, and raise a family. I thank you very much for this, Warden, and I wish you God's Thank you. All right. I know we're going to move into our...